what's up it's rachel back with another video and in today's video i have an amazon haul so i don't think i've filmed an amazon haul on my channel before i know this is something that a lot of people really like to see and i shop on amazon a lot so i thought i would just show you guys my recent purchases that i have made here i don't have any updates in this video but before i get started if you guys are new here welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for being here if you'd like you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you can also hit that bell to be notified every time i upload a video but other than that let's go ahead and get started with a haul if you've been here on my channel i feel like i've been talking about fragrance a lot and i have two fragrances here to share with you guys today first one i have is from britney spears i don't know if she is still over her perfume line i don't really know the story there but i do know that i like to pick up a new one every time it comes out and actually at the moment there is a new one i just haven't got my hands on it yet i'm not sure where to purchase it i do have the two latest new ones to share with you guys the first one i have here i'm just looking down so I can read it. This one is the Jungle Fantasy and this one is pretty new. It's not the newest one but it is pretty new and I wanted to read you guys the fragrance notes on here. It looks like the fragrance notes are Watermelon Blossom, Violet Leaf, and Yuzu. I know I'm not saying that right and it also has middle notes of Tonka Bean so I haven't smelled this. I thought I'd spray it with you guys. I just love this packaging. I have always loved the packaging on these fragrances. I'm going to let this sit a little bit on my arm to see how I feel about it. But here is the packaging. Really cute. Love it. And I just love this. It's like so shiny and bright. I get a hint of the watermelon in there. In my opinion, it does say on there that it's a floral scent. And I'm not the biggest fan of florals. I feel like that's what I'm smelling mostly is just florals. So I don't think that this one is a favorite for me. But I do like to have these in my collection just because I'm a collector. Most of the scents that I have in her line, I really do enjoy. But this one, if you love florals i think you would really like this one but for me i'm not the biggest fan of floral and i only smell like a hint of that watermelon it's not strong enough for me this is not one that i would recommend unless you just love florals even in my opinion though i have smelled better floral scents but that is just my opinion i did want to pick this up and i wanted to try it out on camera for you guys so here is another look the next one i have here is another britney spears fragrance and this one is called intimate fantasies so the top notes in this it says are juice Juicy lychee, violet leaves, and Italian lemon for a mesmerizing first impression. I don't think you guys care about all that, but it does have jasmine, middle notes of brown sugar. It says base notes, creamy vanilla, and a lot of things I can't pronounce. White musk. Let's just go ahead and try it. I heard lemon, so let's see if I can smell the lemon. This is my favorite. I think because too, I am a gourmand lover, to be honest with you guys. I love things that smell edible, and here's the packaging again. Again, this one is called Intimate. What did I say? Intimate intimate fantasy. I don't know. This one to me, it smells, it smells clean, but I do smell a little bit of lemon in it, but it's not like a lemon cleaner or anything. It just smells really nice. This one is definitely my favorite. Between these two, this one is definitely my favorite. If I'm not mistaken, I heard Shane XO talk about this one, and that was the only reason that I knew that this one was available. By the way, I wanted to point this out. That one has such a creaminess to it. It smells really creamy. Let's move on. So the next thing I have to talk about, I have a little bit of everything. I have some clothing and some home things. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this. I had seen somebody talk about this in a video. Not this specific one that was so hard for me to say. I've seen her talk about these in general. I really needed something to organize my earrings because I don't like to keep them in the boxes. I just feel like it's just, it's clutter for me and I don't really like it. She was showing these earring organizers and they look like little closets for your earrings, which is so cute. It has little hangers and I bought different styles and I also bought different colors. This is what it looks like. Watch it break on me. But the one that I have here is different colored. Like it shines purple and stuff. It's like rainbow or something. This is what it looks like and it has all these hangers. It came with a lot of hangers. I just didn't use them all. I'm trying to give you guys a close up. First of all, how pretty do my earrings look hanging on these? But it's so cute. I'm trying to give you guys a view of the color shining on it. Basically, it's just little like closets kind of for your earrings. I don't feel like I'm showing this well but here at the bottom, you can put your studs. That is really cute. But I had to pick up one of these because I thought it would be really nice to display my earrings, but not only display them, almost like store them so I don't have to keep all the boxes. I bought several of them. I put that one together so I could share it with you guys, but I think I bought another one of those colorful ones, and then I bought two clear, just plain ones, and then I also have these, and I think I bought two of these as well. This is the same concept. It's just a little bit smaller, and it's slanted. It looks a little bit different. If you guys want to see a picture of this, just literally go to Amazon and type in earring hangers or something, and these will pop up 
up too, but these are a little bit smaller. I just thought these were cute as well. And I think I picked up two of these as well. It's just in my box. Definitely wanted to have these on hand. That way I could store everything. Yeah, I picked up two of those, by the way. I feel like I have the most random things to talk about, but it's such a girly Amazon haunt in my opinion. I love the flower clips and I have been finding a lot of them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I actually have a lot of them that I haven't got to share with you guys because I have shopped at TJ Maxx and Marshalls so much. And I keep saying that I'm going to film a video, but at this point, it's so much. I'm going to have to break it down into categories. Like I think I'm going to have to do like a home one. And then I think I'm going to have to do like a beauty one, like a beauty and accessories one, because I just have so much at this point. But I have been buying a lot of those flower clips there. And I wanted to see what they had on Amazon because I know Amazon is the best bet about getting the best deal for a lot of them. And that is definitely true for what I'm about to share with you guys. So if you guys like the flower clips, I'm pretty sure that I bought, I bought two packs and then I bought another little pack. This is what they look like. So it's literally all these flower clips and these are so cute. I've been wearing them a lot in my hair. I love to wear my hair up most of the time. I'm never wearing my hair down. I'm always comfortable with my hair up. Even if it's a mess to other people, it's still a mess to me and I love it. I like to have these. I think these are really cute and these are fun. I have this pack and I, I love this green one too. So cute. This blue one. How fun. The brand I was going to turn it around so you guys can see. These are super cheap by the way. I don't know prices on everything. This is the brand if this helps you guys out if you guys want to look them up. But I'm sure that they would pop up anyway if you just typed in flower clips. I also have these. Doesn't really have a brand on these. One of these I know for a fact is glow in the dark it says. So I'm not sure if it's the these or these, but these are the ones that might be glow in the dark. I'm not sure. It wasn't intentional. I didn't really care if they're glow in the dark or not. I just really like the colors, so that's why I picked them up. This is what the second pack looks like. And then I also have this little box right here, and it is full of just different blue ones, but it also threw in a black and a white. This is what they look like. I'm going to try to share it with you guys. And I will take a couple of these out to share with you, but it was just a blue pack with a black and white, different shades of blue. This is what they look like. And there's like the clip. Super cute. I love these and especially for the summertime and when I'm at home when I just want to clip my hair back. I'll show you some more colors if you guys want to see. And if you guys want to find these again just type in flower clips blue flower clips and I'm sure that they would pop up. There's a lot of different colors to choose from. I'm sure if you're like a pink girly which I am you could go in and type pink flower clips. Any color you want they'd probably have and they'd probably pop up. And because I was looking for a specific shade I actually got a single. So this one is like that really pretty blue. It's kind of similar to the color of my wall. Just a little bit. It's just that perfect periwinkle blue. I'm obsessed with this color. I just had to buy a single of that because I couldn't find the right color in a pack. But this is what it looks like. So this haul is very girly but also it's just unnecessary too. I seen a short here on YouTube I think and it was like a lipstick purse. So it was like this really pretty pink bedazzled casing that looked like a purse and you could press the buttons on it and it would pop out lipstick. I couldn't find the exact one that she had because it looked like it was sold out but I did find this one and this is the brand. I don't know. I think I've seen stuff like this on AliExpress. They probably have the exact same brands and everything. This is what it looks like when you take it out. It looks really cute. And this is not something that I'm telling you, it's not necessary. It's just cute. You have these at the top and you press. I'm sure you press at the top. Yeah. You press at the top and then it pops out and then you have your lipstick. And it looked to me like it was three different shades of red. But yeah, you just pop them like that and then it pops out. One of mine was a little like slanted. So I'm not going to roll it up all the way. This is the third one. This one is much deeper. Of course, it's showing the same on camera. This is what it looks like. And this is just, to me, one of those, like, novelty items that I would set on my vanity. It's just really cute. But this is what it looks like when you get it. Well, I also wanted to get some of these spa headbands, which you can find these anywhere. You can get them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but they're really cheap on Amazon. And I was actually looking for specific colors. So, I wanted this one to begin with. This is a blue spa headband with white polka dots. How cute is this? I actually use these to, like, do my skincare every night and morning. If I don't use these, I'll just use a headband to pull my hair back. But these are so cute. Again, it's that really pretty blue shade that I'm obsessed with with white polka dots. And then unnecessary, but I did want a couple more colors. I bought this super cute yellow one. I just took it out of the pack though. This is what it looks like. It's just the same one in a yellow color with the exact same white polka dots. How cute is that? And then I was like, alright, I have to get at least one more. If you know me, you know that I had to get the pink one. This is 
is what the pink one looks like and it has the white polka dots. This might be my favorite. I don't even know, but super cute. I don't feel like I showed that one good, but there you go. I have been redoing this room. I bought a couple rugs. I haven't done the flooring yet. I've been putting it off for so long and I know that I need to do it. I have two rugs. I'm not going to open them up, but I did buy this blue fuzzy one and it's pretty big. Then I also have a white fuzzy one that's still in the plastic, but it's in my closet, so I'm not going to grab it. I did pick this up. I wanted to let you guys know that if you like the color or anything like that, they do have this on Amazon. It's that really pretty blue that I'm like obsessed with right now. Most of the pictures that I picked up off of Amazon and like I have little flower decorations on my wall. I've already hung them up, but there is some things that I haven't hung up. I thought I would share with you guys the ones that I haven't hung up because the other ones are also from Amazon, but maybe I'll show them later on. But literally, it's just these like poster things and then you put them in a frame. What do you call these? Like, it's just like wall art. There's like a YSL lipstick, a Chanel logo, a Chanel perfume bottle and the flowers, which you can see in the background, I have that one. I also have another one in the same print, same color and everything, except it has like a gray like wood around it. I have that one like looking up in front of me and I also have like these flowers on each wall that I picked up from Amazon. This is what this one looks like and then I also have this one with the pink Chanel bag. I thought these are really cute. I just need to get frames for these so I can hang them. Then I also have these. These are like, what would you call these? Roll up canvases or something. There's three of them in a pack and these are kind of hard to show. It just says, hello gorgeous and it has like the pink lips. I'm going to frame these as well. Just haven't gotten around to do that, but it is on my list of things to do. This was a three pack if I didn't say that already, but I have this one. It says lash out and it has a pair of lashes. And then I have this one. I forgot what this looks like. Okay, yeah. This one's really cute. This one is a YSL lipstick. How fun is that? Looks like the last things that I had to share with you guys are all clothing pieces. And I feel like a lot of the clothing that I have actually bought is because I've seen other people here on YouTube talk about it. So if I can remember who i seen talk about these certain pieces, I will let you guys know. I feel like most of them honestly come from Heather Austin's recommendations. I was actually wearing this one that I'm about to share with you guys in a previous video. I was trying to think of the video, but I can't remember. This is what it looks like. These little shirts are so soft and they're stretchy, but I recommend sizing up because they are very tight. It's one of those things, like, I don't know if you were younger and you remember going to, like, Hollister and stuff, their larges felt like mediums, if not smalls. It's kind of one of those deals. It feels like shapewear. Just definitely size up. This is what it looks like. It's in that blue color that I'm obsessed with, and when I seen her, I think I seen her wear this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. That's so cute. Let me go ahead and fix this one because I know that I wore this one. So, this is from Heather Austin recommendations as well. These are bodysuits. There is something on my camera that is bothering me. This is a really cute blue color that I'm obsessed with. It's a bodysuit and it is long sleeve if you guys can see that. It's such a pretty color. This is very flattering on. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if I'm doing a good job. I will say these are really tight made, so I would size up. I would even recommend going up a couple sizes, honestly. That was a double pack. It also come with this pretty white one, and I've not wore this white one yet, but this is what it looks like. I got the pack that had the blue and the white, and this is like, when I clicked on her little Amazon link thing, these are so flattering on, by the way, if I hadn't said that already. When I clicked on her little Amazon list or whatever, these popped up. Because I hadn't seen her talk about these in a video. I just seen them on her little thing. I picked those up. And like that first blue soft shirt that I was sharing with you guys. She was also, I think she might have been wearing this one as well. And it just looks so pretty. And I think these are going to be pretty for the fall time. Especially this color. But it's the same shirt in like this really pretty green. It looks so good on her. So this is what it looks like. Again, if you get these, I would size up. Then my last thing that I had to share with you guys in this video. And my last clothing piece is something that I... I saw Laura Lee talk about in one of her videos. I'm obsessed with the color pink and she was talking about this and this feels so good. She was actually wearing this in one of her Amazon recommendations or Amazon hauls or whatever. It's this pale pink long sleeve and it's very stretchy and like all this stuff to me kind of feels like shapewear. Minus these, these are really soft but the way that they hug you, I feel like they're like shapewear as well. But this is what it looks like. It's really soft. I just find clothing like this to be very flattering if anything. Really, really cute. I love this shade of pink but that is everything. That is all that I had to share with you guys in today's video. If you guys like these videos for me, please let me know. But again, that is everything in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be back very soon with another video. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!